Hello and welcome to another TSR CSGO cast. Uh, I am Sam Perlox Carlson from SpawnRoom.com and today we will be looking at the Stream Team versus Netcode Guides on Dust2. This was a match from April 10th, 2014 and that's it. So let us resume the match and hopefully I think this should be the beginning, right? Because they have those weird match restarting things and running around at the beginning like crazy. Alright, so it looks like almost all armor for the T side, and they are just going to go for a straight up rush. One of them, two down right off the bat by Bog, who's in the back of the site. He's got a, he had a nice angle there for a little bit. His ally at the doors went down right away. They did do a two for two trade, looks like. Should have no problem getting the bomb down. Decoy probably didn't really delay them all that much. A2Z with that flash. That should help at least slow them down a little bit, maybe. Well, it looks like they want to come right in. He's not quite... He knows that guy's there. Can't quite get an angle on him. Gets a little bit of damage. Not enough. Here comes number 5, JDM. But the... TST, oh, I shouldn't say TST team, because that's redundant, right? But the stream team, clean it up. Three other guys surviving, looks right. That was three, all. yep. Three Galils, two AK-47s on. CT side with those three CZ-75s. Where are they stacking them? Looks like it's all long A with the CZ-75s. Could work out pretty good as they do drop one right away. <clears throat> they should get a free weapon recovery there. Kind of looks like they're kind of scared to actually go get it though. There was a window of opportunity, but you know they don't they don't really know that. Trend should be ready with that Galil. Does a fair amount of damage there, but he does get away. Here comes Hazed, waiting towards Catwalk as A2 A2Z yeah. A2Z is creeping along. He did make a little noise there, so he should know. Oh! That could have been a fair amount of damage. I don't think that would have killed him, but... Looks like they do kind of want to work a cat yet, but the bomb carrier, what is he doing? No one's watching mid, so they can move lower tunnels without worrying about getting a smoke down or anything like that. Bog should have seen that. Oh my god, he's got a lot of guys right there. They are going to have to make this push probably pretty quick. CT team is rotating, and they are in the bomb site. Hazed is the only one there, so they pretty much have it secured right now. CTs are actually looking really good for this save round. They've recovered two guns. It is a three on two, and they got a lot of damage on the uh, terrorist team. JMD. Oh, can't. Did he did a lot of damage right there, though? They could push in. They gotta be careful not to come. Any amount of damage. He just has to put a little bit down. There it is. Any yeah, any amount of spam right there would have made it connected. And that was a really that was a great comeback round for uh netcode. NCG lucky. Although everyone did die, so everyone's eco should be still fairly low. Save around for T. And actually, CTs look pretty good. They look healthy. One hopper, lots of nades to work with. It's a pretty big buy for going up against people with just pistols. It almost seems a little risky in a way. I know from... Um, with the inconsistency of an amateur, you probably wouldn't buy this big when you're up just against pistols. Because a lot of pistol rounds actually do work fairly fairly well, because they, they're like really random in a way. And uh, if you die with this much stuff, like right there, they're going to recover his weapon. He probably dropped some nades, potentially. Another guy goes down. Their opper. See, like, it seems so risky. It looks like they're going to clean this up fine, but... Still kind of playing with fire there. Now, they shouldn't peek this. Adren's the one who's got to make the move. 
Not sure what he actually wants to do here. Probably just look for picks. 3v1 this injured. Not going to go too well, I doubt. But Ooh, that's risky running away with the knife there. And Relict finishes him off. Patiently hiding behind that creek. And here comes the first even buy. Both teams will be able to have rifles and nades to work with. And if the T's definitely need this in terms of having the neck a buy for the next round. CT's money is pretty low, but they might be able to do something yet, especially with some kills on the board. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, two CTs covering mid doors. Terrace look like they kind of want to work mid doors. I really don't think they should, as we've seen in a number of matches I've casted and Go TV casting. These mid door pushes like never work. So much damage that you have to. I don't know. It just never seems to work that well. Bomb carriers. Kind of working, cat. Looks like they got a little indecision. Not quite sure what they want to do. Statutory ape. Looking for that pick. It looks like they're just going to run down the clock a little bit here. And hopefully catch something out. Here come the smokes. It looks like they are going to work mid. And they got one in tunnels. Polly. Who might be able to do something, although he's got trouble here with that back. Nice, he does manage to clear the back of the platform. But Reluct is waiting for him. Does a lot of gets one kill, does a ton of damage on statutory. And here's Mick Nutty. Is that is that what it is? Me Nutty? Mike. Oh nice, he's gonna catch. Who is that? NCG Lucky. Not watching his side, leaving only JDM64, who's probably going to just end up saving here. He does have an op. He's got to be really careful. They know where he is now, which means he's got to book it away. He's long-ranging with this. CC75. He's actually going to have someone coming up behind him, too. This is not going to be good. There's no way he's getting out of this. He's going to get shot in the side right now. Oh, he does manage to connect, and he's going to live? No. <laughs> Last second, he goes down. That's going to hurt the eco pretty bad. Although, the I guess the rest of his team doesn't have anything to buy anyway. It would have been nice to have that op, though. They could have really controlled, like, long or something with it. When these uh, T's ultimately push in with their rifles. Looks like the terrorist team is splitting up, looking for... Wow, they got a couple players that are just going to push Cat right away. There's no bomb here. And then the bomb, what is it going to do? Is it actually going to go mid, maybe make a decision at the last second to either push into bomb site A, or he might go B once it's pushed? Wow, they just cleared bomb site A, so the bomb definitely is going to come here now. I kind of like that decision. Like they go, they go mid rather than going long, even though long is probably safer. They still have the option once that CT player rotates. If, you know, if like those two T's went down and the CT's managed to retake the uh, the base, all the CT's are going to be there. They can move right to B, probably be uncovered. That was a nice amount of kills. Who was there on the uh, site? I think that was a Dren, maybe, or no? Oh, I'm working tunnels. Polly back in his position, just like before. Looking for any of those rushing CTs or some sort of pick attempt here. <laughs> Bullets whizzing above Hazed Head. And kind of mirroring some some of the other rounds here where they're just like 
Going really slow, looking for a window of opportunity, sitting mid. Oh, nice prediction by A2Z. Catching Haze there. And now, I don't know if they'll think mid's weak, but it's actually not. Reluct is there too. I kind of, that's kind of nice having those two uh, CTs protecting double door, ready to rotate to A or B. Now the walk can't. They have the bomb with them. Looks like Polly Polly is coming up behind to support. They are just gonna push right in. JDM goes down. Now they only have lucky long right now. Here comes the other CTs rotating in. Polly is ready on cat. Oh, and the the timer almost looked like it was running down right there. Polly catches Bog, who didn't check up in that position, which seems a little crazy to me. That's like the easiest one to check first. Oh, Polly's making a ton of noise. Kind of did the same thing. He just like didn't fully check that right there. He could have just taken the kill and backed off. Rather than sacrificing the advantage. I mean, it's not going to matter. They're going to take the round win anyway. But, I mean, to preserve your, your uh, money a little bit more. It's nice to do that. Oh, I was calling him Reluct, wasn't I? It's Reltuck. Reltuck. And now the stream team gaining some momentum. 4 to 2. CT team has a full buy, so that's good. Very little grenades. Once again, a couple of the terrorists move. Oh my god, statutory ape with his nade out. <laughs> Almost runs right into that fire. Reltuck taking some action from tunnels. He's actually out of the bomb site, which would this would be a really opportune time for statutory ape to come in and take over the bomb site. They don't have the bomb with them though, and it has been dropped mid, which means this is going to be a forced commit down here. The CTs, all they have to do is play very cautious, force the terrorists to come to them. And now they have complete control here. And this was quite the blunder by the terrorist team there. One of them does go down. It's not going to be enough, though, to stop those CTs. The bomb, had it, had it gone tunnels. I mean, those mid-pushes always seem to fail. You should definitely bring the bomb tunnels. It seems like tunnels goes a lot better, usually. I guess they have three mid though. I don't know. Screw mid though, seriously. It's so bad. Oh, nice pick by Adrian at mid. Let's go make B side really, really weak. And you can see the terrorists are rotating or no? They don't, I guess they don't feel comfortable actually just rotating into B. Now there's been enough time. Hazed has actually been able to move to mid, so he'll be able to reinforce B if necessary. And they're. Terrace are still just kind of picking. I suppose you got enough time on the clock, you might as well just keep working with it. Why push your luck if you can uh, find some more kills? Problem is, is that you let the CTs get all, you know, repositioned and resituated so they're nice. They are spread out and able to handle your push, but maybe it's still better to just, uh, to wait. But they do need to make a decision soon. 40 seconds on the clock. He should hear this on Cat. Oh, but he's not covered mid. And he will go down bombsite. A might be... Oh, it looks like they want to go right to B. Either, basically, either bombsite would have been okay. Bombsite B it is, and they do secure it. Bomb is not quite down yet. And it's down to just JDM64 with his trusty op. He's probably, yeah, he's just going to save. But he better be careful because they are number nine. Looks like he's out for blood. And you probably wouldn't really expect Statutory Ape to be in this position because this is like... <laughs> oh, he missed the first shot. Oh my god, that could have been an op pick right there. Not going to be enough though. pretty 
cool. My statutory ape. Kind of risky though, right? On the off chance that he does happen to get a double op pick or something, he's a long ways away. I suppose that's pretty safe, though. Actually. Oh, there goes the double pick at B. And now they are already in the site, ready to go. Bomb carrier needs to haul ass. <laughs> they... Ooh, long range USP pick, wow. Okay. It's like... What did it... Oh, Lucky had a CZ-75. I thought he had recovered something already. Six to three, another save round for netcode guides. Slowly working their capital back up. Where are their two CZ-75s headed? Both to long. They... Mm, I don't know if they're going to catch anyone. Yeah. Nutty moves back right away, puts himself at a distance. Makes those pistols a lot less useful. And there's a Dren with the op pick at, at uh, B. Polly with the cleanup on Rel Tuck, and now the bomb site is again theirs. No surprise, really, with the uh, pistols v rifles. Ooh, that range with CC75 is going to be pretty tough. This 5 7 could do some serious damage, though. A2Z does drop. He could try and recover that weapon, but those two terrorists look like they're... No, they're in the bomb site. Although the one is in window. Win. And a Dren with another op pick. And the stream team is really starting to pull away from netcode guides. This is their chance right now with a full buy to make a comeback. But the stream team has a lot of money to work with. Besides... A2Z, who must have died a number of times. Polly's pretty low too, but he'll still have enough even if uh, they lose to do a buy. Oh, JDM! In a, he was in a good position to get that pick, but... Oh, he is in a lot of trouble now. Ooh, they aren't going to capitalize on that fire, though. They, It is going to force them to stick to this position. But he will get away, surprisingly. Had they hopped up right there, he would have had nowhere to go. That was a really nice HE and uh, Molotov decision. Flashes mid. And this terrorists are moving, moving out. They do find Bog. And Grell Tuck. And once again, they are going to take control of Bombsite B. Just down to JDM64. Try and clean this up. It is a 1v2. He could get uh, a counter opt here. I would imagine he'll probably just like save again, but they are falling behind. They can't just keep saving over and over. He could swap for that M4 there. Might be smart. Oh, Polly is moving around a lot. Oh, very nice shot. Now it's... Oh, nutty. Finishes him off. He was kind of set up for that, so... Wow, nutty is rolling in the cash. 13k. Dren had 11 there. And the CTs... They have three players that could buy something, but they're going to have to save again. And now it is 3 to 8. Presumably three to nine. Op pick at mid. This is gonna make it even harder. B site's gonna be really weak, so the two T's are just gonna push in because they feel really confident about this. Whoa, nice first shot. Rips up statutory eight. Not gonna be enough. Here comes Lucky to reinforce. Finds a little damage on Polly, but that HE gonna nicely place finishes him off, leaving only Hazed and JDM64 to do as much damage as they can. They dro they dropped one player. We could see a second here, but oh, we're not going to. A2Z probably fairly hurt with money, 5,300. That's still quite a bit. Polly's actually lower here. They need to start knocking down Nutty. Nutty for the most part, but 
Uh, statues running out of also have a lot of money. Here comes the level buy. <laughs> oh, nice smoke. <laughs> He's playing a little further back. No one is watching mid right now, which is kind of strange. They aren't? I mean... Hmm... It'd be nice to get the uh, cat call, but... Whoa! HE Grenade does a fair amount of damage. Look like about 25%. Hayes ready for any peek over the edge. Just play patiently and calm. He can catch these guys out. They know he's there. He, He's got to back up. He's going to get caught here with all three players looking over the edge. And NGC or NCG just kind of falling apart here, unable to uh, deal with these terrorists who are going to just rush into B. They want this ki these kills. They almost don't even have to worry. They got so much money to work with. Although Polly is definitely the uh, poorest, so I'm not sure he should have actually done that. Right, with the finishing kill there. He's probably gonna get caught inside here. He's down to just his pistol. <laughs> well, they do get two kills. Polly and A2Z, who are the poorest, once again. I mean, the two people you'd... I don't know. You almost don't want to kill them. I mean, it's good to kill them, but you're not really doing as much. Unless the other team members have to buy for them, I guess. This looks a lot of these uh, T like layouts here at the beginning are uh, very similar. Yeah, I always send Polly to uh, B tunnels. Three of them work mid. One watches doors, and it looks like they just kind of run down the clock, try and look for some sort of opening here. JDM taking a fair amount of damage, half health. Oh, he is in trouble now. Ooh, that was a nice little jump out of there without exposing himself. Statutory takes the brunt of that damage there. Hazed is ready to do a little bit more, but not enough. And now it's just Lucky in kind of a vulnerable spot. Whoa! 3 to 11. Terrorists are just dominating this NCG team. Here comes the buyout, almost half, or it is half, I mean, or, well, almost switching over for half, I guess I should say. Oh! <laughs> that looked really weird. He was, like, facing backwards for a little bit. Two of the CTs, holy cow, they just go down instantly. Bombsite B is open to the terrorist team. This is just like a, th like a throwaway right now. Well, it is 3v3. It just seems like the CTs just were playing, like, random right there, just, meh demoralized or something. Still got an upper mid. Adren with a really beautiful shot through double doors. Leaving just lucky to try and do this. The bomb is still not down. He doesn't have to look quite yet if he doesn't want to. He could wait for the bomb plant. Very nice. He doesn't have to look. Oh, the bomb was down. He could have checked window and they would have, he might have had a nice coverage there. I mean, it would have been 1v2 still, but, I mean, that's doable. You can get away with that kind of stuff. 12 to 3 at the half. Netcode has a lot of work ahead of them if they want to catch up. I would safely say that the stream team is probably going to take this. This full match. Considering that, I mean, you'd have to lose so many rounds in a row for Netcode to come back now. I mean, they could come back on a decent amount of rounds, but you gotta assume, like, you know, for every... Like, how do you even say that? Like, uh, netcode guides would have to... Like, if they won, like, three rounds, most likely they're not gonna win a fourth in a row, right? So they're gonna have to sacrifice one, and then two at, like, after another three rounds or something like that, and if you... It's probably get to 16 before they can actually uh, catch up, if that makes sense. 
I probably said that in a really stupid way. <laughs> okay, are they actually gonna start or what's going on? Let me fast. There we go. Entry starting. And I think this is actually it, looks like it. Nope. Let's go, guys. Okay, so this is probably it. Yep, looks like they are buying some stuff. CT side, two teams that are probably not going to go armors. I'll have HE and maybe something else here. Yeah, grenade loadouts, one diffuse kit. T side, four armors, one grenade loadout. And the CT team is playing pretty aggressive mid and cat. We need for that lower tunnel push or a sudden cat push. I don't know about standing with your HE grenade out like that. They could come around that corner and uh, peg you pretty easily. Here comes the cross. Well, they put us. They opted to put a smoke down in CT spawn, which seems. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's a like, probably fairly equivalent putting it there. Or I don't know why you wouldn't put it at the cross though. By ramp. Hmm. I don't know. Three v two. Two of the terrace really lit up. Statutory 8, might need some damage, but it's not going to be enough. And Netcode Guides with a critical round win. This should help them secure, I would imagine, at least a round or two with their weapons. Hopefully, anyway. We'll see if the CTs play uh, something really aggressive or unexpected, or they'll just play safe and... Maybe take the round losses, try and do as much eco damage as possible. And it looks like they're going to rotate to B. They're not seeing any picks long or mid. There is only... Me nutty, holding B with his 5-7. No smoke or anything to work with. They might have seen him at the back platform there. They haven't, there, he should be making the call now. You can see the CTs are starting to rotate. Tries to get a little bit of damage. He actually doesn't hit anyone right there, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> that could have been uh, a nice... He could have done a fair amount of damage since they're all clumped up in tunnel, but bolts must have flown way, way too high. And the CT team, they're just going to save? I don't think they have to. I mean, it's 12 to 4. They, it's not like it's a big deal if they lose the round, but I don't know why they wouldn't go uh, just kind of put themselves in random positions to catch some of the terrorist players. I get, look at, they're all moving as like a pack. <laughs> Slowly hunting each other down. Netcode hopefully gaining some momentum here to close the uh, gap, 12 to five right now. This should be another round for them. Unless these pistols do some amazing work. Only one CZ-75. <laughs> this is a weird stack. CT spawn stack. And it looks like the T's are doing exactly what they did last round. I mean, it worked. So, probably no harm in it. CTs just need to be very patient, sit in safe positions so those pistols are really useful when, it, when the uh, gap closes up. 
Nice. It looked like, uh, who was that? Hazed, working cat. Put down some fire. Uh, he looks like he might have even lit up a Dren there, maybe, or something. And now they can work. Wow, they didn't put a smoke down or anything, even though they have them. That's shocking. They definitely should have put some smokes down there. They lose two players, which they probably didn't have to. <laughs> Seriously, like one smoke there. They could have pushed up in the bomb site. All five could have stayed alive, and they could work up a nice amount of money right here. But to those two players will uh, be a bit lower, as you can see. 14 and 200. Now the CTs are leveled out. They got their weapons ready. And hopefully they can... Uh, Regain some control. This map. Nice HG. Oh, and there goes the bomb. This is gonna force JDM to either commit or he might just have. To, yeah, he's just gonna run and save. He better run quick. He's got four CTs potentially looking. Oh, he could catch this mid pick here. Nice, he does. Connect. Wow, he's putting himself in a really dangerous spot. I don't know. He's going to lose this up. He did not have that much money either. $300? What is he doing? Oh my god, this is so foolish. That was just... That was just idiotic. Straight up. There's. Why would you do that? You're down 13 to 6. Every little bit. Now his team has to buy for him. That was so dumb. I mean, maybe he doesn't care, but it's a team game. It's... Whatever. <laughs> Full buy for the CT side. Looks like they got everything they want. Man, they wasted so much money right there. No reason. Well, they we got three CTs stacked B side this time. No one really watching Cat. This seems like the other Dust 2 match I watched too. There was a fair amount of like cat, like cat wasn't covered as much. It seems like if you're uh, playing right now, maybe that's the way to go is just put cat rush as a bunch. No one's covering it. Whoa, nice shot by me nutty or whatever. That tunnel push will be delayed or slowed down. Whoa, me nutty has to be watch out. The bomb carrier into bomb site B. Does he have anybody nearby? Not really. It's just him and Bog. Where you at, Bog? Covering middle doors. Polly pushing into the bomb site. They can probably hear him at this point, so they know for sure that he is here. The fake diffuse is actually going to pull Bog in. Oh, it's too early though. He didn't wait long enough. <laughs> oh, he had a diffuse kit. He had time to work with right there. He should have... Just give yourself a little bit more time. That was like he got the kill and immediately went to like do the fake diffuse again or something. I don't know if you have to do that. If one of the... The problem is, is that if one T shows up, you can assume the other one is probably going to show up too, right? Because they'll, they'll try and do like a, a dual attack. Because that's like more powerful then. Taking turns one at one at a time. I don't know. Seems a little crazy to me. And the T's are just gonna push right down, right down long here. They're finding all sorts of picks. There's only two CTs left. They got the smoke across. They should be able to. Well, they're definitely gonna be able to get the bomb site. No problem. They know both CTs are in CT spawn. So if they just like grenade spam it or something right now, they could do a lot of damage. Maybe get some picks. There's Reltuck's kill on Statutory Ape, and Bog is already at cap, if necessary. Ooh, nice HE grenade, does a ton of damage. Can't connect on Haze, who had almost no health and was peeking. 
NCG, like, I mean, if you're if you're down third, it doesn't even matter how much you're down. If you're down at all, he should they should be playing a little bit more cautiously. Like hazed right there, any amount of damage would have killed him, and yet he's still peeking over the edge trying to look for kills. I mean, that's just like amateur greediness, you know, that makes you like lose rounds. It may seem like such a small thing, but I think over the course of an entire match, it adds up. Oh, uh, they did a full buy, and they want to work tunnels. That's pretty risky there. But they are going to come through the smoke, and the smoke was early there. It wasn't deep in tunnel, which means that when they come out smoke, they can actually spread out right away, so they don't take a lot of, like, uh, consolidated damage, or since they're all grouped up. Oh, A to Z, very nice. Finds exactly what he's looking for right there. Who's on the bomb? JDM and... Reltuck. Ready at doors and window. They are holding this off really nicely. CTs only have pistols to work with, so this is going to be pretty tough for them. A drink can hear him up at window. It looks like a drink just wants to catch somebody. There's no way he's getting the bomb infused. He's going to recover a weapon. He's not going to be able to get away from this, though. Oh, he does! Whoa! Did they reduce bomb damage? I thought you got killed if you were that close. That was a weak-ass bomb. That was a good round for netcode. They're slowly catching up. 13 to 9. CTs are able to buy this round. Finally. Ooh, nice op pick by JDM64. Weakens the A side, but there are two CTs still at long. Polly playing pretty risky, pushing through double doors. Oh, he's just sitting there. Looks like he got stuck on barrel or something. Oh, nutty, just be patient. And sit in that spot. Let Statutory 8 be the one to start the initiation. That could work out really nicely. Oh, statutory apes moving up too far. Nutty gets a fair amount of damage on Reltuck, but that's not going to be enough. They do have the bomb site. Smokes are down at double doors. They'll have a... They should have a fair amount of time to... Uh... Oh, that HE did nothing on Bog, surprisingly. T's have a lot of time to just get into position, feel comfortable on the bomb site. A2Z is actually going to save. He does have an op, so I suppose that's a good idea. Statutory Ape falling back as well. We'll go and uh, protect one another. Oh, that'd be a sweet ninja defuse right now if one of them was actually sitting outside window just silently and creeped in. There, might, there was enough. There was a window there for that. They might have heard it, though, if he started defusing. Three CT players. Super poor. They're going to have to do... To pretty much just roll with what they got. Unfortunately. And uh, they've given a lot of rounds here to the netcode guides. Creep through tunnels. Always kind of risky. ATZ finds one. That USP is doing a fair amount of damage. Eight at uh, Adren also in there. Ooh, nice HE grenade. Finishes off A2Z. Does a lot of damage to Adren. He's got to be careful. Only two CT players left. They're almost, they're in the exact same position they were in last time. Except this time, Adren is just like, decided to go right in. And he, did he lose the op there? Or what happened? Wow, very similar situation to last round. Except they'll be able to move into the next, uh, what is, um, they'll be able to move into the next round with a, uh, a buy for their team, I think.
like a full buy. Maybe, or will they? Yeah, they should be. You know, a couple of their players are so damn low. Though. Full buys. And now the stream team having a lot of trouble figuring out what to do against Netcode. Who just all of a sudden found, I, I mean, it's like a B weakness, right? Like, number of their rounds here have been on a B side. But they're not going to go for a rush. They are working cat. Oh, A to Z with the uh, first pick again, this time on Hazed. They are going to smoke out cat, which will delay that push. Ooh, this is awfully aggressive. What? That looked like so hacks right there. <laughs> I suppose he knows, I mean, I suppose he knows exactly where to look, though, because of the crate and stuff. That was nice. A little bit of damage always helps. That smoke is probably down. This hopper needs to be careful and drag those down. Whoa! That was weird. A to Z finding a quick double kill. Due to, like, complete craziness. I don't know why he had to do that. Those T players should have just stayed maybe further back on the uh, walkway there. And the one definitely should not have just dropped down in there. He has no idea how many CTs could be in the CT spawn. And there, the street stream team finally shutting him down. Bringing it 14-11. Netcode Guide still in a dangerous, very dangerous position despite all those round wins. Two oppers on the field for uh, the CTs. See if a drink can get that mid pick. He doesn't manage to do it. Looks like, but they don't put any smokes down. Looks like they just want to maybe get the pick here. There's the smoke, so. Let's see if we'll. I mean, they gotta make moves here. These long. I don't know about these long delays and things. I guess that, look, I mean, if you watch the CTs, they're not rotating. Like, problem is, is, like, I'm always comparing it to, like, amateur matches and things. And, like, in an amateur match, people would just push because. Everyone rotates right away, but I suppose at these higher levels, they're, uh... They could suddenly come through tunnels and they're playing mind games and all sorts of things. Polly about to get shot in the back, probably. Yep. They do allow him to get one kill, though. CT's looking to shut him down. There's still three of them left. Only JDM64, he's about to get shot in the back. They will easily get that bomb to fuse. But only two CTs alive, so they did a fair amount of uh, damage there, but it's not going to be enough. 15 to 11. This is one of those nightmare situations where you had, I mean, they have to win every round now if they want to win for netcode, so. <clears throat> and they have, like, all, well, they have money to work with, but not much. working B side here. Uh, three CTs covering B side of me. Here comes some grenades. Catwalk. A to Z. Kind of in a vulnerable position I feel, but whoa! TST with two quick 
simultaneous kills. This is not a good spot for the... There's another one, Polly. And another one. <laughs> wow, they just suddenly crushed him right there. All that delaying not helping them whatsoever. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty. Well, that was the stream team versus netcode guides. Stream team winning 16 to 11. This was part of ESCA invite. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching as always, and um, I'll keep casting along doing these um, ESCA invite matches, I suppose. If there's uh, any other leagues or something that have good games to follow, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll do some cast for those too. Until then, peace.